first traders welcome back to the millionaire logistics forex channel and in this particular content guys we'll be showing you how our trade went during the week okay from the 14th of this month we'll be back testing the chart applying our same strategy same concept and we will actually be breaking it down to that very piece that you will very much understand now, right here guys we're using the pound usd as always and we're testing the chart from here sharing with you different aspects of this particular chat real life chat and uh we'll be sharing with you some a couple of you know trades that we took and the analysis that we shared here okay so from last week guys we shared that okay this was where the market stopped this was what we looked at right this was what we shared oh sorry yeah right let me change this to black so it will be visible okay all right so you know just the same uh strategy that we apply the same approach uh using our fibonacci tool from the bottom uh lowest point lowest price right to the highest price of that day and then we then share that we'll be waiting if the price reacts at any of these levels during the beginning of what the london session we're going to be watching that area and looking for important price action uh candlesticks to trade off all right and just at that point guys um this was 10 a.m where we saw that move 10 a.m here okay 10 a.m just at this level here guys just at this level just at this level you know very far away from what the 38 38 fib level and you can see very much just after this candle here you can see how price came back to this 38 uh fib level you know and this was exactly what we targeted and this was where we got our trade off so in this particular uh content guys this particular content will be sharing with you uh details and actually sharing more insights on how we analyze the chart something simpler very simple smc concept ict trading concept but then we use our fibonacci tool and then our trading session time of the day to very much uh break this strategy down for you and this strategy guys makes a decent amount of pips consistently and regularly all right so guys if you love this idea don't forget to stick by don't forget to um, like don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of our the progress we're making so far and don't forget guys to share your thoughts in the comment section as we trade for extra millionaire logistics okay so for monday 14th this was exactly how the trade went and then uh key things to note guys this is exactly the market the way we are uh, the things that we take cognizance of right here guys you can see what we term as what a price gap and usually these gaps has to be filled all right so the simple uh approach we use in this market guys first is what our fibonacci tool which you've seen here the fibonacci tool and we pay attention to what the key areas the key levels first off guys we have our range the hundred all right and the zero and just somewhere close here guys from down to our bottom we have what a 79.0 fib level we also have what the 61.8 fib level that we watch and then we have what we have right here the 50 fib level and then we also have the 38.0 fib level all right guys now that's one of the concepts that we use our fibonacci tool and then again we want to check very simple market structures on the chart uh the detailed way the market flow if the market actually made a previous uptrend the previous day or uh if the market during the tokyo session or the london session is actually moving and what making higher lows making higher highs and higher lows sorry you know so we want to see how that uh the market structure right during that particular trading session i want to use it as reference to get what the simple move you know simple volatile move that may likely occur at a particular time right and that time guys is what either the london session which we want to trade the beginning of the london session or few minutes um during that london session guys and we want to see how the market reacts at either of those levels depending on the market structures formed using our fibonacci uh, retracement tool 
and then we want to take advantage of that volatile move within that active trade session okay now those things are guys are the key elements that we apply with common sense of course so guys if you love this idea don't forget guys the next content guys because we want to break into little chunk the next content will be a continuation of this and will be what analyzing right from the chat that we have before us thank you guys see you in the next content